This is the video submission by Michael Oakes highlighting the shared social multi-user experience running across AR on iPad, iOS and Android, VR and PC, which was built for my dissertation project to demonstrate whether a MSc student could develop a shared social multi-user experience running across AR, VR and PC. With me residing in Canada and unable to demonstrate the application personally, this is an extended video in an attempt to demonstrate as much functionality as possible in lieu of me being able to attend. This video will demonstrate the application running on all of the target platforms and will then show video footage of it being used simultaneously across Android AR, PC and Oculus Quest VR using split screen video. The Unity experience is opened and the user enters a player name and then selects an avatar to represent them in the game. The iPad then detects horizontal planes in the real world and the user selects one plane on which to place the gameplay scene and then confirms that position. The user is loaded into a lobby with the other players and the master client will start the game. Voice chat is enabled between all the users in the lobby. The AR user now enters the gameplay area with a viewpoint from above. The user here seemed to take a short while before realising they could lift up the iPad to play, but then does so and finds their user. AR users are always highlighted in the scene with a pink circle. The user is able to navigate the gameplay area using the joystick on the left hand side of the screen and can use the fire button on the right to fire projectiles at other players and score points. A star will display with an accompanying ping noise on the UI if you score a hit and a red flash with an accompanying squelch noise will display if you are hit yourself. A score is shown for the AR user in yellow at the top left of the screen and a camera toggle button exists on the right of the AR screen that allows the user to toggle on and off a 3D forward facing camera view. At the top right a countdown timer is displayed showing how long left in this round. The games are played as 4 minute rounds and then the top 5 high scores are displayed back in the lobby scene for all of the users that are in the game.
The procedure for playing AR on an Android device is identical to that for iOS. The user must log in and select an avatar before then selecting a real world surface to place the gameplay scene on before confirming and entering the game lobby with the other players. Again, voice chat is enabled between all users in this lobby and the master client is the only user who can start the game and they do this by clicking on a start game button that is only displayed to the master client user. The gameplay functionality and controls for the AR Android user are identical to those for the iOS user. With the local player again highlighted in pink, the user is able to navigate the scene and fire projectiles at other users to score points. At minute 6.43 on this video, you will see the Android user switch on and demonstrate the forward facing 3D camera available only to the AR users. So we just have to do it. Stay away from where you go. So, can you find yourself tall or are you gone? No.
Playing on PC, the user must enter a player name, select an avatar, and then select a room before they can enter the game lobby. The experience built only has one room available to enter, so there's only ever one room outdoor that is available and listed to enter in the scene. Selecting the room, room 1, will navigate the player into the game lobby with the other players. With voice chat again enabled here between all users in this lobby and again also the master client is the only user who can start the game by clicking on the start game button to take all the users into the outdoor game gameplay scene. Initial navigation for the steps above are done on the PC using a keyboard and mouse but once in the gameplay scene an Xbox controller is used to control the PC player's avatar. The left thumbstick moves the player around the environment. The right thumbstick rotates the player in the view around the Y axis. A red cross here is displayed on the scene to show the aim for projectiles for the PC user. And this can be raised using the up D-pad or left bumper button on the Xbox controller and lowered using the down D-pad or right bumper button on the controller. A projectile is fired using the left or right triggers on the controller. At the top of the screen the user's score is displayed in white whilst at the bottom of the screen a countdown timer is displayed in white showing how long left in this round. The games are played as four minute rounds with the top five high scores displayed in the lobby for the users that are in the game. Game functionality is the same as for AR with users able to navigate the gameplay area using the Xbox controller and fire projectiles at the other players to score points. <coughs> Damn. 
Here we see the user has already pointed their Oculus Touch controller at the input text field and clicked to bring up a virtual keyboard so they can enter a player name. This is done by tapping the required virtual keys uh, yep. with small hammer controls as seen here. Enter must be pressed to close the keyboard and then the login button pressed to navigate to selecting an avatar. Okay, Player names are not mandatory on any of the platforms, so users can just click the login button to play as an anonymous user. The user can then select an avatar using the left and right arrows in a similar manner to on the other platforms, and must then select Room 1 Outdoor to be taken into the pre-game lobby with other connected users. Again, voice chat is enabled here, and only the master client user can see the start game button and is able to start the game for all users. The Oculus Touch controllers are used to control the VR player's avatar. The right thumbstick moves the player around. The left thumbstick rotates the player around the Y axis. A projectile is fired using the right trigger and will automatically aim in the direction that the VR user's headset is facing. At the top of the screen, the user's score is displayed, whilst at the bottom of the screen, a countdown timer is displayed, showing how many seconds are left in this round. Game functionality is the same as for AR and PC, with users able to navigate the gameplay area using the Oculus Touch controllers and fire projectiles at the other players to score points. <laughs> I'm pacing her up the hill. The video will now complete with a split screen video view of three players, one in Android AR, one on PC and the other in VR, playing simultaneously in the same game 
and the same game round. This is to demonstrate both that the experience is a social one and also the application that has been developed by this master's degree student for the project dissertation is a shared multi-user social experience across AR, VR and PC and to show that the dissertation has reached its target goals. He's over by the creek. We're in the middle of Stonehenge here. And stand still so I can shoot you. I see Sherry, she's over by the street. Yeah, we can all go down and shoot her. And she'll stand still. Shoot the bullets. Yeah. Yeah, but oh, oh, really? But does it? Uh, that doesn't give you a point for it, does it? You guys are fighting together over by the log. One ninety, Sherry two forty, and Wes are ridiculous. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. This is the end of the video demonstration. Thank you very much for watching.